There you are. I was beginning to worry. I'm still dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think I could keep going when you start talking to somebody. Much like the Twelves would, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress. Let me show you the home of the Knight's Blessed. Bro, we were just... We were just mm. fucking there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, we, that's because we went ahead last episode. Last episode... We, Why we, last, we just last... meet you inside? Well, it's supposed to guide you in because you're playing this game on foot normally. We don't know, You don't normally have somebody that flies you around. And you also don't normally get to her, quit for the day, but then specifically grab the the shard and leave <laughs> and run past her. Mm. You just turn up to hand the quest and it's like, what time do you call this? I asked you to be here two days ago. Slitherbow is the largest of the blessed settlements. They worship no gods, instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the flood. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. With unisex bras. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. You seek the Light Warden of Rectica. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust, and thus did I strike out on my own. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I have come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Well, go on then. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya or rather could be found, were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. As for the tablet... I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Urianger. I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? 
Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed, if you'll excuse me. He understands that I'm not the same, that I'm not her. understands, perhaps, but does not accept, the question being whether he ever will. And whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Ishtola is back. My Urianje. <laughs> So angry, my goodness. I am not indifferent angry. to Thancred's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to a higher standard after all these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and that is what I will continue to expect. Though it heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves, in spite of our present circumstances, I can but imagine how Alice and Alphano have changed since arriving here in the first. Hmm. Probably the top one. Hey, Changes. I mean, Yashola hasn't really... I feel like she's still her usual self. More than she's, anything. She's keeping busy. Yeah. Change is part of life. We can but hope it's changed for the better. <sighs> You're right. And after my untoward remark towards Thrankrid, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worst. I will have to speak with him later. Okay. <laughs> Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin working on the deciphering of this tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look around Slitherbow. And let wow. me guess. Go talk, talk to, to three, three people. people. <laughs> if there's anything you need, pray speak with Runar at the plaza. Speak to nope, Runar nope, at the nope. plaza. Speak to one person. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <clears throat> Who's going to be like, hey, have you heard of my three friends? They're really in trouble. <laughs> but once you help them, I'm totally down to help you. It's the pose he's always drawn in every time. Welcome, friend. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, from where do you hail? Exposition. Sorry, I don't have a voice. Ba -ba -ba. From the Crystarium, I see. And this tablet you've brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Rakita. Rakitika, damn it. Well, you are welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come. Let me show you around.
God damn it. Midphilia, why do you always have to do this to me? <laughs> Gasp, I have to voice people in this thing where we read dialogue the entire playthrough. Would it be alright if I joined you? Mm. Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain and our home in ruins, we were at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage advice, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community, a great oak within, the, within whose shadow many have come to find solace. That is not to say that, the, that uh, there were not those hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it is the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again. Now that she is here with us, and I have no doubts the others feel the same. She is as much a part of the Knights Blessed as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service of the dark. I don't have a thing for her, what are you talking about? But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now, you should know that there are certain, certain uh, customs we ask guests to adhere to as long as they reside in, within Slitherbow. To show reverence to the dark. In a word, yes. But fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Oh, here we go. Everybody find your nearest neighbor. First, Actually, we first need to decapitate to survives. <laughs> oh, there he is again. Yup. Did you see any of our people well, come into this chamber? They have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Vaktika. We use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of the light's impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is, a, it is one of our most important. Would you two kneel for just a moment, that I might rid you of the light's impurity? Oh boy. And our entire, our entire character just dissolves. <laughs> yep. It's like, oh, you were made entirely of light. <laughs> just what a shame. <laughs> Never seen everybody. Let's go. Here we go. Your feet roll up. Baby, you got me all wet. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna miss this callback. As Runar lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. Remember pre-pandemic jokes? It burns like that was IG. four years ago. Kill me. All right. <laughs> and with that, you have you have been cleansed of the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed, exactly. But I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? I wrote so many things I could say about this water. Only blessed by our priests. They are practiced in the arcane arts. As such, it is said the, pray the prayers imbue the, the water with a faint dark energy. Unholy water. A prickling sensation. No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. I might be allergic. Yeah, <laughs> being the warrior of light. Don't tell anyone. I, 
We're technically both at this point. Yeah, but we have like the light goddess something in us. Look, it gets complicated. Just call us the warrior. Yeah. A both. We're both a the warrior of everything. Hero. Doesn't matter what it is. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sen- uh, sensation, but I too felt something strange. Look at moistness. Hmm. The dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless... By the gods, Master Matoira was right! You are Sin Eaters! I jest, I jest. But you, what you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Ah uh, yes, that, that, that's the easy mista- uh, feeling for me to mistake, having never felt water before. <laughs> Perhaps now that it would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the, the people of Slitherbow. Three of them, perhaps. <laughs> for that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Alintuta, in the language of Ronka, is one of the several ways one might say good evening. The world is not as safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know, too? I would hate to offend anyone. No one has hands. <laughs> no need to worry. Merely speak the words Arlen Tuta, and they will all know that you are friends of the Blessed. We are terrible at cybersecurity. I will await your return here. Now, you, now go. They are like to be ha- uh, heartened by your knowledge of our ways. Alan Tuta, right? I'm just oh, boy, I actually have then, to sell it. And then copy it. paste oh, it. Say, uh-huh. yep, Alan to three Tuta. people. There we go. I have now copy pasted it. Yep. Andrew didn't do say correctly. He did it in Oran. No, I shouted it. I'm shouting it to everybody. Alan Tuta. Alan Tuta. I'm Bosch von Rotzenberg. <laughs> the placid elder. <laughs> The elderly woman smiles warmly. Also, holy crap! Yeah, elderly indeed. Look at her face. Damn, yeah, she's wow, right what there. The fuck, Jesus Christ! Damn, it's just an Alan you. Tutu to her. She Why can hear you. you. Like it's oh yeah, you, not you can hear her Oh my God! Like, oh my God! Are you old or dead? <laughs> it's an actual so Ronso. It's Even just so horn. weird to see. He's Good so evening. Purple. Good God! I see why they call you the Town Hag. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Who is this guy? Some uh, guy. Nobody. Just a random it's a rough person. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alin Shasi. Welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will not find poison in near. Uh, you will find poison in near everything you see. But fear not. Our medical tea will help you healthy. Or will keep you healthy. Ask it, and it is yours. All right. I won't ask. Keep the tea. <laughs> Spill the tea, healer. Bay. Yeah, you got me stop. Bam. <laughs> oh, jeez. That tea is yeah, you riz, tea? yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> that tea has drip. Wow. <laughs> Don't ah, at a once. new come traveler, Alin Chisi, and welcome to Slitherboro. You must forgive us if we seem strangely reserved. We are a quiet and taciturn people. Silent and serene as the sunless sea. Did I say that five times fast? The quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Okay, so basically if everyone acts calm and shuts the hell up, then sin eaters won't be able to mimic us. Taciturn. I like the idea that the sin eaters just like panic under silence and calm. It's like, why doesn't anybody say anything? Why are they dancing? <laughs> like, <laughs> They're too chill. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break the nose. I mean, Philly, you didn't even come with us. No. Hey, you suck up following. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first. 
but already I'm starting to feel at home. There is still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now how they've built such a thriving community. Ah, you are returned. Very good. No doubt you, you they were glad for your company. It has been too long since we have had visitors. Almost like we shoot them on sight. Remember, if you have any questions, or if there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Smile and nod, smile and nod. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Brantoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand... I'd rather not. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Passive aggressive as possible. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. <laughs> All I ask is that you take a jug of water. I take a jug and water the crops in the square. It's larger than she is. May I help too? Um, uh, do you know telekinesis? <laughs> of <laughs> course. <laughs> one of you can do the filling and the other with the, the other one the watering. Speak with Ersabel when you have finished. She will be, be relieved to hear that the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see to your room in a warm meal. I volunteer to do the watering. So we need to do <laughs> stand there and pour water on things. Yeah, I'm not good for being filled, thanks. Right then, I'll, I'll fill you water. Oh, well, okay. Just a bunch of people rush over to her. Uh, this was the only jug I could find, which was small enough to lift. But I'm afraid there's a crack in the bottom. I need to hurry to the garden before the, all the water leaks in. Are you freaking serious? Are you fucking kidding me. Gameplay mechanics. You have 45 seconds to complete the task. Should you fail, turn into do it again, you loser. Oh, this uh, is way smaller than I expected. I'm running. I thought Keep we had to carry spells. those ones. What the hell? Hop, 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 only half. I see. Well, let me refill it for uh, the, the jug for you. You have 30 seconds this time. Okay. The hole got bigger. Ah, I mean, probably. Like, I feel like Wait, is this it's probably crumbling while we're holding it. Yeah, like, so the hole gets bigger, which means more leaks out, which means we'll never have enough water. <laughs> Eventually, we'll just be cupping our hands and running over here. Jesus. Oh, just fill the hole. <laughs> yeah. Cover it. Thoroughly watered. Nope, it's watered now. Somehow. They could have definitely oh. had like some kind of mini game there, but instead <laughs> they, like, that was the most underbaked thing. <laughs> well, you, get to the, you get to the place and you have to like pour the water a specific way so it doesn't just leak out all the cracks. Well, I'm just thinking like the water's leaking out the entire time, so they could have had a mini game where you had to like walk around, they had to like zigzag across the paths while it's continually pouring out, and you have to try to make the most efficient path without overlaps where you covered the whole grid before mm. you ran out of time. Like there's a gameplay mm. mechanic you could do there, but instead they did nothing. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, for just one task. Who wants to be her? Oh, right, yeah. Uh. Well met, travelers. I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? We've watered your crops. You've watered the crops? Ah, uh, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I've been uh, rather distracted of late. 
Watering the crops is always Todia's duty, but she, uh, she, she knows longer with us. We have since taken to sharing the duty, but never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else we can do to help? <coughs> uh, we could plant something if you like. There's no need. The plot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I don't know how you manage. Have the blessed not considered leaving? Life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know our history, how our faith came to be? Vaguely. Er, uh, yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own in the Raktika Greatwood. I see you read your history. But there is a history that is told, and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the Knights Blessed lost everything. Their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost to the Flood when their bodies were reborn as sin years. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. But soon they realised that there were... Where there is light, there must be darkness. And in truth, they found a new faith. A belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond those burning skies in the sunless sea above. That is why we pray, for the safe passage of wayward souls under the blessed black abyss. For the return of the night, that's why, that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the self-same reason our founders first chose them. That we may lead lives of simplicity, with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yulmore, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish. And so it must seem that to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions, Balls. Accidental skip. In Could times such as these, where everything can be taken away in an instant, it's all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. Ah, there you go. <laughs> it is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold to th those who went before us in our hearts. To keep alive the legacy that they have left us. This was, we must do for them, our children, and generations yet unborn. Keep their legacy alive. Protect the world from devastation. <laughs> Low frame rate shadow, let's go. Yeah. It's just time really moving very slowly. Very I really st stop and start. Uh, was so verbose, I would not have chosen that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Done tending to the cops already. It was two vases. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Very good. It shall not be long before your room is ready. Uh, mm, random person. Okay. Uh, Name I've already got an affiliate in this NPC. one. So. Room. 
Sonar! In the, oh. <laughs> In the woods! <sighs> Sin Eaters! I fear they may have the touch. Where? Uh, in the grove to the southwest. For mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to Slitherboro. Oh, he cut his breath fast. That's fine. It's, uh, look at that man. He's got. He's pumped. He's he's fine. <laughs> Jack. Then we have no need to to engage. Inform the guard that no one is set foot in. No one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. But, sir, what of Todia's uh, Hearthstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for signatures to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, but we would not hesitate in sh in striking the beast down. Uh, under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But if they are indeed have the touch, I would not risk them corrupting one of our own. What was that you said about a stone? Uh, a few days pass. Uh, a few days pass. Todia, a child of the Knight's Blessing, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste, we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strung, it to a, strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All of the Knights Blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heart stone to the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens. But now... What if... What if I could find it for you? Boah? Boah? Eh, nani? I've experienced fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's... Corruption does not touch me like it does others. Oh... Master Matoya called you Menphilia, did she not? Are you truly the Menphilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need and I can help. Please, let me do this. Let me throw myself at danger so I can find a meaning. Very well. But if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a second service. I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? Eh, yeah, fine. Don't Thancred worry. Thancred doesn't need to know. <laughs> Thancred doesn't need to know. <laughs> Snitches get stitches? What? Do you mean to say, you'll come with me? I don't know how you implied that from what I said, but okay. <laughs> right? Thank you. Let's hurry then, before he returns. Alright. Go swiftly, and may the shadows keep you both. Right. Yeah, I'm not keep sure if I missed where? context for that line, because I don't, I don't get how that nope. implied the other thing. I don't think it did, I think that was just the, uh... Her assumption. Was that just yeah. a weird translation? Yeah. Probably. No, I, yeah, I, think I think that was literally her just being, I want you to come with me, so I'm going to find an excuse to misinterpret what you just said. <laughs> Maybe. I, I think it was just that they... The outcome had to always be that way, but, like, they didn't want to change the quirky joke that they had going on, I guess? I don't know. Gotcha. Like, she didn't need to say, like, oh, what about Thancreed? We could have just pretended, like, Thancreed 
was on some kind of long jovial mission for the next 20 years. Like we don't. What exactly next 20 years? I don't. But what? It's they. They said time is weird here, right? I don't know how long time takes. No, time, time right is here. weird compared to where we're from. Yeah. 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 Time here oh. moves at a constant rate. It's the it's excuse just... of why everyone's aged up five years or whatever and had a personal journey, but the setting we're from with golf Nazi is only going to be like five minutes past. Yeah. Yeah. Timey wimey. Yeah, like a day is still a day here. It's just a day oh. here could be a year back home. I just thought time was going fast. Quite a go fast. Like... There. The Sin Eaters. Most boring point ever. They just showed up to us. Oh, they two of them. Wow. Convenient. Wait, they didn't even see us? There's nothing else in this forest. What was... Wait, what's convenient? <laughs> that they came to Over us. Here. Yeah, they came we us. came here to find them. Well, yes, but they came to us. That's what I mean. Anyway, I was hoping there would only be one. There's no way we can search for the stone without uh, dealing with them first. Oh, let's get to it then. Go. Yeah. I'll use my gun. <laughs> Their weakness. What? Shouldn't we make a plan first? No. Though. There are only two. I'll draw one of them away. You can deal with the other. I, you just, we don't need a plan. That sounded suspiciously like a plan. How did the right. other one know it's not? <laughs> it was amazing that they, they were so specifically was, yeah. drawn away like that. I was going to say, it's weird that the other one just stayed there. It's like, oh, uh, ah, you got this. You got this. I don't need to oh, well. intervene. Time to die, I guess. This is what happens when you don't go with your friends. Didn't even make it through a combo. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did just jump in with like four people. That's pretty, pretty yeah, brutal. See, that's what happens when you stick with your friends. Wait. <laughs> and bye, Keith. As Keith Christmas. pulls everything under the sun. Christmas. Christmas. Oh my god, Mithilia, come on now. I mean, Here she are. won. <sighs> there you are. It's done. Though I fear I was a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. Hey, I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that heartstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Yes, you're going to look for green things in the green things. Oh, I'm yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of just what we have yeah, to do. Yeah, you in particular are really screwed. Luckily, there's an indicator bouncing up and down on top of you saying, search here. <laughs> Oh, good. There's tons of them, though. Nope. Just get it right on the first try. Yeah, I mean that's one Easy. way of doing it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Everyone was right except for except except for Effie. I got it. Easy. Ow! What do you want? You making friends? Oh, leave me alone. I don't even know you, Beetle. Yeah, at least bought dinner first. Yeah, what the hell? Andrew, hungry. I am pretty, pretty consistently hungry. <clears throat> Deliver food here. That's that's like a character arc for you. What to want to be hungry all the time? You being hungry. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is a welcome. You weren't uh, hungry for, like, the entirety of the 2010s. Yeah, I was pretty not hungry since, like, middle school. I just stopped having hunger. I was magical. 
And then Do you have any luck? Now. Yes. Keepsake once belonged to Tati of the Night's Blessed. Is the description of the letter. It's beautiful. It has to be it. You know, Tancred always said you were a man of many talents. And I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn, even if I'm not half the hero you are. I oh, am? Yeah. The hero she was. I, uh, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slitherbow. Drunar and the others are probably worried. Jokes on you. I don't have to forget anything because I never listened to you. <laughs> right? Damn! I see your lips moving, but all it is blah blah blah. <laughs> Got him. Whoa. Teleport, and we're back. Thank goodness Hello, you are safe. I begin to fear the worst. There you go. Pop. By all that is dark, you have found it. We can proceed with our service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits into the sunless sea and the, and the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured to peace in the dark. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Todia's service as honored guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others. It will be held in the darker. When you arrive... Got to talk to three people. Okay. There should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. This been Phil yet? Nope. No okay. Oh, look. Fat kid's back. The hero and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. And she immediately spills the beans. And we helped <laughs> them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. Uh, there were sin eaters and... As long as he accompanied you. But do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. H how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. And it's telling me now that Zev has has business with us. Hero. Something the matter. <laughs> They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. Being held in the darker, isn't it? We'll take care not to be late, I promise. Okay. Oh, yep. Now we go talk to Renfrew. It's back to the old lady, the Placid Elder. Yay. The Plasticine Elder. She has a very The Plasticine face. Elder? <laughs> yeah. God. That was so and long we... ago. Silence. The elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points to a nearby corner where you may place it. Okay. You're lighting candles, which give off light in a place called the darker. Yeah. Yeah, they're black sure. light candles. Clearly. Okay. They light up all of your sins. Oh no. Please don't. I now have we a lot of look this. conspicuously left and right until a cutscene plays. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Oops. Let us begin.
I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. to paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. You know I don't deserve such reverence. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered they could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost, I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Arionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss.
One of my favorite ver uh, parts of this like setting is that they keep iterating on the uh, the forms of like reverence for the the night because the light is, has been a source of all their pain. So they have this inversion where they worship the uh, the, the stars. Than... Yeah. He's not a phased mom. Yeah, they're cat goths. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. Initially believed it, may, it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light, much to my surprise it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire, and was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitioners for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. Are you thinking... And you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get into Ixmaha? Masha? Yeah. All right, this is me. <laughs> Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins' protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Ronkin text and translations into a more modern dialect which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in Sitia. Quite close to Slitherbow, in fact. The good news ends there, however, for it is in the possession of a rather radical faction of Dark Worshippers, the Children of the Everlasting Dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we were to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. All right. I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. Then let us convene outside, to the west of Slitherbow, where the path diverges. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has aught to share of their recent activity. But we must tread lightly, carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them into the sunless sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. You see, we worship the, dire, the dark, but they worship it too hard. <laughs> they take our ideals too I mean, far. Dark and darker. 
That's all yeah, there's is. extremists in like every group. There's always some guy who's just like, I want it the most. And you're like, okay. <laughs> well, it's you... like I can go off and do that. Between... I want it all. <laughs> and I want <laughs> it now. It's the difference between like Vanta Black and Black 2.0. I have no idea what that means. What, means. what does that yeah, mean? No what did you just say to me? Don't, don't worry about it's it. It's a type of paint. Yeah. Really? Yes. yes. Advanced darkness. <laughs> There's a yeah, reference people much. know. Yeah. To the point where it's basically like looking into a void. 3D objects. Never mind. They didn't 2D. get the joke. Kind of crazy. Yeah, no, I did. I did. <laughs> Okay. This looks exactly like the guy I voice, but I guess it's not the same guy that I voice. Or is human. it the same guy oh, that I voice? No. 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 Oh, fuck, you're right. You. This, yeah. yeah. You got me there. His ears aren't pointy, so it's not my it's guy. He is also, he's not like eight foot tall. <laughs> he is very extremely just some guy. <laughs> yep. By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. We would have arrived sooner, but we have we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are an acquaintance of Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late. So I thought I uh, to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange? What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. A usual gathering of ingredients of poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They'd been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it is meant to be, uh, to end the blood. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nests where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? Uh, we should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Spider warfare! So, who took anaphylaxis as their uh, character traits? Oh god. I'm gonna die very quickly! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's something trippy about like it being this whole separate fantasy universe, but then not only does this implies that not only does our world have bees and spiders, but also their this world also contains the same bees and spiders that the world we're from has. Certainly seems that way. Nero thought you were going to talk What's about that? the random smoke bombs. I mean, smoke just Why is, is... that weird? What's, uh, what's weird There's about them having class. the same shit yeah. as we do? So we're working for a bunch of people who say they forsake all worldly possessions, live in a dirt hole in the floor, and somehow yet they have a shed full of smoke bombs. <laughs> you don't well, find that a little out of character. They're pretending just with because the beehive. You give up worldly did, did, possessions did they even say mean... they forsake worldly possessions? Yes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's literally what they said. 
Ah, I see we subdue the bees by killing them. Yeah, with guns. Yeah. That's what beekeepers use. They use guns. That's a lot of mention your fist. Punching the bees is pretty pro. Very impressive. Okay, there's one. Smoke bomb. Yeah, we got the nest for you. Sadly, oh. the nest is empty because we murdered all the bees. <laughs> I mean, their commune definitely has some kinds of supplies. Like, they do have crops that they maintain and so on. Like, it, it's not... It just means that they don't personally have things, basically. They're not just rolling oh. in the dirt. <laughs> There's an current over here. <gasps> oh, bees. Ignore the bees. The aether current. Too many bees. Ignore the bees. Good luck with that. Yeah, not even Nick Cage I successfully ignored the bees. It's interesting the steps they do. <laughs> I love the description of the buzzing burlap sack. <laughs> God's sake, don't let them out. <laughs> it is interesting realizing the steps they take to sync up quests. In a game like World of Warcraft, if you have to do a, uh, if they give you an objective to interact with something and then a separate objective to defeat the thing that came out of it, then every time an individual person in your party would do that, they would like reset the prompt over and over. Like everyone have to, would have to keep doing it over and over again awkwardly yep. in a co-op. Mm, it sucks. It's usually a struggle, but going, every time I think this will cause a weird problem in co-op, it just doesn't. I didn't oh. use the burlap sack on Where the... was I going? Oh. Oh. You got it? Okay. You didn't do the sack. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't at, stack it up. I was getting the current. My bad. Well, it worked out. I already did the current, so but am. You did the current. What about the raisin? The guard returned to Slitherbow, but not before offering Wait. his thanks. As for the beehives, Thancred and I were successful in acquiring what we needed. How did you fare? Here's your bees. Dr. Bees! <laughs> oh no, not Dr. Bees. This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. I think they're stirring plenty, judging by the description. Yeah. <laughs> she just beats the sack against the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Are you angry now? <laughs> <laughs> the children's settlement is to the west. A place they call Woven Oath. This guitar music, what the fuck? Yeah. Do you hear that? It's the bees. It's so intense. I'm fighting the bees, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, it's so intense. According to the guard, there is an airway apart from the entrance, which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. I just, like, fucking, like, Dynasty Warriors music is playing in the background of this calm-ass conversation, and I just don't know what the context is. <laughs> wow, Andrew was out of, really out of sync. Yeah, a little bit. I, I was, yeah. You were on a different planet. I don't know what happened there. I, I think, I think okay, I, or you could something, not take the quicker way back. Nah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need to go quickly. I need to be punished. <laughs> By punishing the rest of us. Yeah. And making yep. you have to wait for you. That yep. makes sense. Oh. Ah. All right, and let's go. I knocked something over when I was trying let's to do the multitasking. Let's -a go. Give me a second to send messages to people. Leave me alone. No. This is not time to Twitter. He's replying to that poor guy who he broke the soul of not too long ago. <laughs> He's also to the name of a rehab center. Rehab is nuts. Wow. <laughs> I don't think my insurance covers that. Wow. Fringe. Up there is the airway. 
Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps. But we should be able to toss the bag through. Yeet the bees! Do it! Do it! Oh my god! <laughs> we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. Enough that it falls open when it lands inside. Those are gonna be pissed off bees. May I do the honors? How do you practice Yo. yelling a bag, of, throwing a bag of bees? I didn't get to watch it. No. Oh, oh, come on. What a ripoff. I wanted to see him. Like, good thing we got two bags. This first one landed on the Thancred's feet. <laughs> that should do it. Oh, God. Now we wait. I mean, this just screams like the practice run would just go really badly. <laughs> what is that? Bees? By the abyss, they're everywhere. Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! Normal sentence to have! <laughs> it sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it that any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, it'll create a distraction to buy Ishtola more time. Did anyone get past me? It falls to you to guard her. Okay. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready... We just go in there and it's a massacre. There's like bodies <laughs> everywhere. Oh, There's ever just like a bunch of. Hmm? This cult was originally born of our of kinship of our shared allergy for bees. <laughs> <laughs> just three five we killed them all in one go. We specifically chose a cave and everything to avoid the bees. Just very <laughs> specifically. <laughs> Caves are nat the natural enemy of bees. Everyone knows this. Except for cave bees. Damn cave bees. Combat music. Who's this guy? Get the fuck out this of here, This guy gets dude. to die. <laughs> the font of seeing. <laughs> the fucking area of effect. <laughs> it's really funny. The font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not replace th they would not place this near potential distractions from their warship. <laughs> well, I'm distracted by combat. The fact. <laughs> Perhaps the monument is further in. Wee woo, wee woo. of your time yes this is it that's a lot of time I will be but a moment keep watch of the entryway on second thought would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over the while I look over this at a glance I can tell they are old predating the founding of the blessed and the children in fact we're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all that we can. Well, you can't come back and forth? Okay, so before before we do this, I have been informed that we should talk to Yastrola. <sighs> hmm? And okay. what does this mean? Apparently not. Cool. <laughs> what is with people always giving me bad info? No, they, or they maybe just... we're supposed to target her with it? I think we just like to wish oh yeah, we oh we can target with her with it. Okay, I see. It's one of these things. What? Look over and target Ishtola. Hmm. There is nothing to gain from staring at my backside. Now please, I need to concentrate. Okay, now I see why people are telling me to do that. Okay, so which mural are we starting with? Just the one by her, I guess. The mural, the, the mural appears to be faintly old. A knight shields himself 
and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. I know that magic hat. You go Isn't that the dude from Final Fantasy like three or something? You can't boop, 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 boop. I mean, a lot of the Final Fantasies just have the same classes with the same hats. Including this, we even had a little goober that had it in this one. Mm -hmm. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by their subjects. Is there one further left? Yep. The mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stra stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior, rejoicing in their victory. Wow. I think everyone had a warrior of light. And a warrior of darkness. It must be really weird to try and read that. Priestola. These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. Poof. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned. Commemorating the heroes of their day. He looks like a One Piece character. One day <laughs> we'll all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Well, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. Or did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? Can I just get neither? I just want to go home. There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. <laughs> Alt F4. Bye. <laughs> Windows. Bonk. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Wait, how come she can't see that ghost? Isn't he just made of aether? Uh, Good question. I don't know what he's that made is... of. Yeah. Well, can't, every can't see so as far as aether? we know, yeah. This, as far as we know, souls are comprised of aether. That's how we were able to trap the um, uh, the uh, the Asian inside the white ore site, using it as a storage medium. Yeah. So you'd think, yo, wait, is he he stole is... a Ghostbuster? Can she see ghosts? Well, I wonder if it's because of the fact that she herself right now is technically a soul. I mean, maybe she can see him because she thought we were someone else. Maybe. So it's well, fucking, that would, it's yeah, like but that would imply out. like he's probably. Well, no, the the reason she thought we were someone else initially when we first met her was because of the fact that our aether was not the same as it was. When yeah, because he's her here. A long time ago. Well, no, it's because of the fact that we've absorbed the aether from Light Warden. She mistook us for a Light Warden. That's a, that's an assumption, though. Well, that that's kind of where everything's pointing to. But the, he's here. <laughs> well, he's not always here is the thing. And he wasn't there at the time. Isn't I mean, he? He might, just be he might always be there. Might be like, yeah, he might just be hiding inside of us at times. Yeah. Well, he doesn't seem to be able to control it because he just pops in. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, I'm I think, pretty sure he I think controls he, that. I think he's possessed us. So I he very well, know. she very well might have been seeing him, too. 
maybe. He is currently inhabiting my left toenail. <laughs> Quick, clip it. I believe I now <laughs> have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, hero, did the murals appear to be of any significance? I made them. <laughs> Depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps the knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Probably not. Wouldn't the implication be that the only reason that you'd be able to decipher that shit anyways is because of the experiences that you've lived through that led you to this point exactly being able to now read the signs on the wall or whatever? Like, I wouldn't become an, an antique fucking appraiser in another lifetime because I would have never had gone through life to reach this point in which I would be good at appraising antiques. This is the only time I can do it, ma'am. This is it. My only shot. <laughs> like, I can't be an antiques provider in a different world. That's not how it works. Damn, bro. She's just saying a cliche and moving on. <laughs> I'm not. I'm never um, going to move actually... on from this. You, you're, <laughs> you're pointing out all the potential I'm wasting in my life right now, and I don't no. need that shit, all right? I came here to save you people. Stop bullying me. We also do just casually pick up several jobs. <laughs> Let us hurry to Slitherbow. The others are waiting. After we've returned, the two of you sh should rest for a while. No doubt Rudon will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover I anything like of import, you will be the first to know. It's one for us to have the Runar food scene that they were that they were setting up, but also just Wait, why am I every, t every time we rest, we then uh, have a conversation with the Warrior of Darkness. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's ironically the game with the expansion with no day night cycle that actually does have a routine that represents it that is like a day night cycle <laughs> in the narrative. Hero, the guard told me that you you left with Master Montoya to wove an oath. And no sooner do you return that she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. But she is safe. That is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? The stew will be so soon be ready. Oh boy, we actually get to sit down and take a break? What? <laughs> I mean, we yeah, we're all going to sit down in the dog. exact same yeah. spot. I mean, we take, we take a lot so, of breaks in this expansion. I tell you what, if you sit down first, you got the biggest lap, and then we'll stack. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the biggest lap. Uh, if he just looks like he's got a big one because he's wearing a robe. Yeah. And I'll just sit on the floor anyway. What's the point in the log then? Listen, there's too many different animations for sitting. <laughs> Clearly. Strange. The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? I tire of these games, Orianger. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? The blessing may spare him the fate of becoming oh, a light warden. Those apples. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. He is not as he was in the source. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that he has been suffused with their light.
Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. <sighs> By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed, Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! The Omorans are come for us! We're under attack! Meanwhile, in a parallel dimension. Meanwhile. More cats, always. This fucking guy. Have I mentioned that Final Fantasy was made by a cat person? <laughs> to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And you as disingenuous. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness. They have slain Sin Eaters, and by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now, I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers, so I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. 
that is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. <laughs> you poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord Forthree. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, a lot of you! So naive! So painfully predictable! Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense! Insurrection will not be tolerated! The people of this world are mine to rule! Mine to command! And you are no exception! What? How did he... Insolence is mine! <laughs> I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? Speak for the night's blessed. I do. I presume that is your doing. If you have come to parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. My Lord Vorthry's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmor. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness? We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmor's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions 
has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the everlasting dark. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmor to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, that you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you more, and dealt with as such. these developments after I have tended to our casualty. There's a shirtless man with a koala sitting in this chair right here. Normal. The koala Mason is very cute, though. Paltorius, LGBTQ. <laughs> yeah, I could guess. <laughs> there were a few Sounds subtle like a bear, hints that uh, this guy was gay. <laughs> very promising uh, guild there. <laughs> I did not realize like I was dead until they said casualty at the end. I thought, I thought that was the whole point, was that he was wounded. This is quickly proving to be a very dangerous uh, religion to stay with. <laughs> 